Hi, it's Dr. Garza with Dr. Garza Plastic Surgery. Going to your plastic surgeon for a breast cancer consultation can be overwhelming. That situation can be even more stressful when you throw in medical vocabulary, which is complex and difficult to understand. I recommend an immediate bilateral breast reconstruction with a deep inferior epigastric artery perforator flaps. What the heck does that even mean? Don't worry, we're gonna break down some of this terminology so that you are prepared for your consultation with the plastic surgeon. start with some basic terminology. Mastectomy. This means breast removal and this can be for breast cancer or this can be done for prophylactic reasons such as a genetic mutation carrier like BRCA. Lumpectomy or partial mastectomy. These are the same thing. Some surgeons prefer one language versus another but they are the same thing and this means removing only a portion of the breast. This approach is generally combined with radiation therapy. Reconstruction. This term means the recreation of a breast mound performed by a plastic surgeon. There are lots of different options here and each of these options should be reviewed by your plastic surgeon. Oncoplastic surgery. An oncoplastic surgery is a plastic surgery technique that is combined with a partial breast removal or lumpectomy. In this surgery, a plastic surgeon will help design the incision patterns used and once the partial mastectomy or lumpectomy is performed, the plastic surgeon closes things in a way to give you a better aesthetic outcome. We usually incorporate a breast lift or breast reduction with this procedure. Matching surgery. This is a surgery done on the unaffected or non-cancer side. This can involve a breast lift, a breast reduction, or a breast augmentation to help improve the symmetry between the cancer-affected side and the non-cancer side. Prophylactic mastectomy. This means removing a breast which does not currently have cancer. And this can be for various reasons, such as a genetic gene mutation, or it can be patient preference, or a strong family history. This is a decision that you will make in conjunction with your general surgeon or breast surgeon. Now let's talk about some terminology related to the timing of surgery. Immediate breast reconstruction. This means you're going to have your breast reconstruction performed on the same day and during the same surgery as your breast removal. In contrast, delayed reconstruction means you're going to have your breast reconstruction done on a separate date. Sometimes this can be months, even years after your original mastectomy surgery. Phase two or revision surgery. A phase two surgery is a second procedure done in reconstruction. It is often done to improve the aesthetic outcome of the initial surgery. For patients who choose to use their own tissue, such as a deep flap reconstruction, this can involve things like scar revision, fat grafting, or small adjustments to the reconstructed breast. For implant-based patients, this is often the time when the tissue expander is removed and the implant is replaced. Fat grafting can also be done at that time, as well as scar revision. Bilateral. This means both sides. For example, a bilateral mastectomy means that both breasts will be removed. Unilateral, this means one side. So a unilateral mastectomy means that one breast will be removed, either the right or the left. Now some general terminology related to plastic surgery. Flap. A flap is a plastic surgery term used to describe tissue that has its own inherent blood supply. For breast reconstruction, a good example of this would be the DIEP flap. This flap has its own inherent blood supply. And for breast reconstruction, we take this tissue with its blood supply and transfer it to the chest. The blood supply is reconnected and that's how we are able to establish blood flow to the tissue. This tissue is then shaped into a breast and we have our breast reconstruction. Graft. Graft is a plastic surgery term used to describe tissue that doesn't have its own blood supply. An example of this would be a skin graft or fat graft. These tissues are transferred to another part of the body and blood supply has to grow into this tissue. For these reasons, grafts are more delicate than flaps because we have to allow time for the new blood vessels to grow in and in that time period, the little new blood vessels are delicate. Deep flap. A deep flap is a type of flap used in breast reconstruction. 
Deep flap or DIEP flap is an acronym. It stands for deep inferior epigastric artery perforator flap. And that's a mouthful. So we usually just say deep flap. It's the most common flap used in autologous tissue reconstruction. And it comes from the abdominal area. Donor site. Donor site is a plastic surgery term used to describe where a flap or a graft is taken from. For example, a deep flap, the donor site is the abdomen. Skin island. A skin island is a patch of skin that's included in a flap surgery. So if you have a deep flap breast reconstruction, there may be a small patch of skin that is transferred to the breast. We call that the skin island. It is used for monitoring of the tissues, but we also use it to help recontour a breast when more skin is needed to create an aesthetic outcome. Staged reconstruction. This means a surgery is going to take more than one phase. So you may have an initial surgery and sometime later, months to years, you have a secondary surgery. We call this a staged reconstruction. An example of this is an implant-based reconstruction. With an implant-based reconstruction, the first stage can be placement of the tissue expander. The second stage, which happens months later, is the exchange of the tissue expander for the more permanent implant. Tissue expander. This is a tissue expander. A tissue expander is a device that is placed temporarily to help stretch skin and soft tissues so we can make room for the more permanent implant. And for breast reconstruction, that would be a silicone or saline breast implant, such as this. This is a silicone implant, which would be placed at the second stage of surgery. Pre-PEC. Pre-PEC is a description of where the implant is placed. Pre-pectoral implants are placed in front of the pectoralis muscle. Sub-PEC. For sub-PEC implants, the implant and tissue expander are placed behind the pectoralis muscle. Animation deformity. An animation deformity is something that is seen with implant-based reconstructions. It is noticed when a patient has their implants placed behind the muscle or sub-PEC. For these patients, whenever the pectoralis muscle is contracted or activated, the implant can move. And in addition to that, sometimes the skin can contract because scar tissue can form between the pectoralis muscle and skin. Capsular contracture. Anytime a foreign body is placed, such as a breast implant, the body naturally walls off that area with scar tissue. Ideally, this scar tissue is thin, soft, and pliable. However, if this scar tissue becomes thickened and fibrotic, or sometimes even painful, we call that capsular contracture. When someone has a capsular contracture, this can require a second surgery to remove the scar tissue and replace the implant. Capsular contracture does not happen with tissue-based reconstructions. Medical terminology can be overwhelming. It's like learning a new language. Your doctor should take time to explain things in layman's terms, but if they don't, you now have a reference tool to help you. I hope you found this video useful. Leave a comment for any other medical terminology questions you might have. Thanks.